What is up, Nerd Nation? I'm here with uh, RPG's first comic review, and it's going to be uh, The Flash, New 52, Volume 1, and that's a move forward. And so, before I get started with that, just wanted to give you a brief little summary of what I'm trying to do here with the comic reviews. I want them to be more or less just like a breakdown, not a full, like, critical game review like we do with the games. Um, this one just basically to let you know, hey, like how we feel about it, whether or not you should pick it up, pass on it, um, and and just in general, are just like a thoughts on, but just for comics. So, uh, my history with comics have been that I've loved them since I was a kid, but I haven't always been in control of the comics that I've had. It's been more or less just like my parents going to garage sales and picking me up boxes of like random comics for like, ten bucks or you know how that all that works. Yeah, so the most um, the most popular stuff I've ever had, like in the past, has been Sonic and like X Men. Um, everything else is just like really obscure '80s metal stuff. It's just really weird. All the, the collection that I had was odd. Then I got a job, and um, actually more recently I started buying the the new Fifty Two volumes, and I'll be starting with those. I have a lot that I'd love to do. I've been wanting to bring back this this. Uh, the reviews for a while for comics because um, we started written and now I want to do video since we can do video anyway let's jump into it so The Flash uh, written and drawn by Francis Manipal and Brian Buccioletto these guys are doing fantastic work already um, they have these the, the art is already great I love it um, this is my favorite comic out of all of them and I've had I've probably have like 11 different series that I've started uh, from the new 52 volumes. Uh, this one's on top. Art is fantastic. The story is a lot better than everything else that DC was doing with the new 52. Um, they have, as far as art goes, they have a really good use of lines. Um, I, I know that sounds really stupid, you're gonna have to bear with me, this is my first comic review, but just as far as, you know, it's the Flash, so they have to show motion, they have to put emphasis on like on flashbacks, on the past, on on movement, on uh, just in general with direction. They do a fantastic job and it. It's subtle, but it's not too subtle that you don't notice it. Like I noticed that they were directing me uh, deliberately. And I believe it's Buccioletto doing the, uh, the arts. He's doing an awesome job, like I have been saying, um, just he, he has a, a like a sketch technique and then he'll also use straight bold lines for emphasis. And it's just, it's cool how, how versatile his style is, and he can just change it up based on what he wants you to notice or look at, or just anything really, it's really cool. They have this technique where, uh, or, or he has this technique I should say, where um, Barry will have like multiple panels open to see like all these things that he's seeing. And each panel is, is very minimal, but you you immediately know what's happening in each panel. It's, it's minimal, but it's really effective, and I just like that. I like how skilled you have to be, or I, I appreciate the skill that it takes to communicate that so effectively. Okay, so what did kind of bug me about this, and what I'm, I'm seeing a trend in the new 52, uh, since I've started picking up the volumes, is that there's no real origin story, and I get that, I, I get that the people, uh, the fans who are already coming into it, they don't want to hear the story again, I understand that, but the whole point of the new 52 was that you know, DC was trying to bring in fresh readers, and so they, they touch on it just a little bit, but it's just enough to make me mad because it says that he, he was, uh, he started with, like, chemicals and lightning. Like, what, like, what does that even mean? Like, how, whatever. So, that's just a little too much, uh, suspension of disbelief for my taste, but it's a comic, so whatever, I'm gonna let it go. Um, they talk about this thing that the Flash has to tap, tap into called uh, Speed Force, which allows him to not only uh, be a little bit faster than he's already being, but it more so affects his mind in that he can access, you know, the brain faster, synapses fire faster, whatever. He can see multiple, it's basically like limitless, and he can just see all possibilities, everything happening around him at once, and He's learning how to use that because it gets him into trouble because he doesn't know how to tap into it. He can't make it stop and he gets in trouble with it later. So then he meets up with this doctor and this doctor tells him, hey, you can't 
you can't tap into this or you know you're gonna mess with the timeline so there's this cool like he's he's really conflicted because you have to you know a you can save everybody's life now that you have the speed force you are insanely crazy powerful uh, but if you do that too much you mess with the timeline and some crazy stuff goes on and it's kind of irreversible and you destroy the whole universe so save people universe uh, so it ends in like this in a different dimension. I don't want to spoil it. Uh, it's a character that is pretty well known, I believe, in the DC universe. I'm only recently um, been converted into a DC fanboy. I've been Marvel all my life. Um, I'm pretty sure this character is is well known. Um, I cannot wait to get Volume Two. I don't know why I don't have it yet. As soon as I get that, I will let you know. Um, but yeah, The Flash Volume 1, The Flash is my favorite series so far, and I've started a lot of them, so I would definitely go check it out, pick it up. I got this one for uh, $16.99 at my local shop, so definitely check it out. The Flash, New 52, Volume 1, move forward, and for sure, check it out. Um, I'm Trey Quintero with Rumble Pack Gaming. Uh, if you like this video, definitely give us a thumbs up. Um, if you want to see anything reviewed or talked about or anything, let us know. We'd be happy to pick it up and check it out for you. And as always, thank you for watching. Hello? Hey. I am shooting a video. What are you doing?